It's not earthquakes that kill people, buildings do. And the ancient Greeks were the first to try and design their buildings against earthquakes. Some of their temples had metal rods inserted in the columns. In our next story, we'll see how innovative building design can save lives. And it turns out, surprisingly, that one particular kind of skyscraper might be the safest place to be when an earthquake strikes. The teeming metropolis of Mexico City lies in one of the worst earthquake zones in the world. What's more, large parts of the city are built in the site of an old lake bed, drained by the Spanish after they conquered the Aztecs. It's a highly unstable site. The soil is a mixture of soft sands and clays, which are full of water. Yet this is where developers decided to build the tallest skyscraper in Latin America. It's called the Torre Mayor. Completed in 2003, the building is 225 meters high. And yet the people who come to work here are confident that it will keep them safe in an earthquake. I would rather be in Torre Mayor than anywhere else in the city whenever there's an earthquake. That's a pretty astonishing claim, but the Torre Mayor is probably the strongest building in the world, built to withstand an earthquake of a magnitude of 8.5. That's one colossal earthquake. So what makes this building so earthquake-proof? And what on earth made them reach for the sky in the most unstable part of the city? The answers lie long before the Torre Mayor was built, in the events of 1985. Early in the morning of September the 19th, Mexico City was struck by a massive earthquake. At a magnitude of 8.1, it was the worst earthquake in Mexico's history. At least 9,000 people died, with 30,000 injured. Despite the scale of the tragedy, there were some amazing miracles. Three days after the quake, 58 newborn babies were pulled alive from the wreckage of a maternity ward. Rescuers continued to find survivors up to a week later. The greatest destruction happened in the area of the old lake bed. That's because when the shock waves hit the lake bed, something strange happened. The soft sediments under the buildings actually amplified the shock waves, making them far more destructive. These powerful waves cracked the foundations of buildings, setting up vibrations that shook them into rubble. And that's not all. Something else even stranger happened to the soil beneath these buildings. It's called liquefaction. Liquefaction is when apparently solid ground disintegrates and water trapped in the soil starts leaking out. When wet ground gets shaken, the land takes on the properties of a liquid. Buildings simply sink into the ground regardless of how solid their foundations and torrents of water get erupted out at the surface. Liquefaction has only been caught on camera once during an earthquake in Japan in 1964. It's an amazing sight. Buildings just slip into the ground. It wasn't as severe as this in Mexico City, but in 1985, liquefaction did add to the devastation in the drained lake area. So it's astonishing that it was in this very area of maximum destruction that developers decided to build the tallest building in Mexico. It sounds crazy, but engineers were confident that in the Torre Mayor, they could construct a building in this vulnerable place to withstand almost anything that nature could throw at it. Their first challenge was the foundations. Without solid foundations, this building could become an enormous glass and steel coffin. 
to get past the loose marshy sediments of the lake bed and anchor the building in solid bedrock, engineers drilled down 60 metres. That's three times as deep as the foundations of the Empire State Building. Over 250 piles secured the main structure to solid ground. But what really helps the tower ride out an earthquake is an altogether different and unique piece of engineering. Behind the oceans of glass lies the strongest possible skeleton, a network of super diagonal diamond braces. Where the super diagonals overlap, they form three smaller diamonds. At each junction rests four huge shock absorbers. And here's the magic of the design. They look and operate just like a regular shock absorber in your car. The only difference is that they're about the size of your car. And this is how they work. The moment a seismic wave strikes the tower, giant pistons inside the shock absorbers are forced inward. These dampen the severe vibrations from the shock waves and absorb their energy. Instead of crashing to the ground, the tower flexes safely. I think Torre Mayor is a benchmark. Everybody would like to build buildings as important, as safe, as Torre Mayor is today. In the past, Mexico has been struck by massive earthquakes, five times more powerful than anything Torre Mayor has faced. Yet the impressive team of engineers that built the skyscraper are confident that it would survive an earthquake of that size. They believe that in one of the planet's worst earthquake zones, this could remain one of the world's safest buildings.